made my boobs look like torpedo boobs. <laughs> It is Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> I couldn't think of what day it was today. We are on our way to the mall. Surprise, right? I have a bathing suit that I need to return. I I don't know what you guys, like I said, I don't like trying on stuff <laughs> in stores. I hate trying on stuff in stores. And I hadn't bought a new bathing suit since I had Kaya. So my bathing suits were kind of um, a little too skimpy because my body's a little bit bigger now and they were having a swimsuit sale online. So I bought two different bathing suits, um, just, you know, because they were two different styles. One was like an underwire bandeau, and the other one was like a more sporty, like sports bra looking, like a yoga bra looking type swimsuit. So um, I'm returning one of them because it made my boobs look like torpedo boobs. Like, or not, you. I don't even want to say torpedo, like uniboobs. You know. Like it pushed them in and they're not big at all to begin with, so it just looked really funny. <laughs> so I'm going to return those. And then I also had gotten a black denim jacket that was on sale because I, I really like black. You guys know I love my black. But I'm realizing that I'm just not that girl who can pull off a black denim jacket. I can stick with my black leather jacket, but denim not so good so um, I was kind of hoping like I don't know I have some black leather je or black leather jeans <laughs> that would be weird I have some black jeans and I was like oh well I can pull my black jeans off maybe I can pull, pull a denim jacket off and I can't we're gonna return those and also it's 40 degrees outside like it is gorgeous there's so much snow on the ground still because we've gotten so much like in the last few weeks but it's all finally melting away the roads are terrible because of the potholes but I'm just excited that it's warm out why it started running around the outside saying it was summer. That's how pathetic we are in the Midwest. <laughs> we just wanted to get out of the house because it's so nice. Um, and yeah, I, we have to also return some sandals that I'd gotten Kaya to Target because they're definitely not her size. And I don't think, I think by the time she'll fit into them, it'll be winter of next year. So they're really cute and I want to keep them, but I know it's just not a sensible thing. I picked out her ensemble of glasses, hat and jacket, and she's wearing her new little fake Keds. Look how cute those are. <laughs> ah! All right, push the button, Kai Kai. Got some stuff at Sephora. I basically just I exchanged uh, some of the uh, the bathing suit, and then I return the jean jacket because again it just does not look good on me but um we went to sephora and you know how i i mean i'm one of those people that kind of feels like if it ain't broke don't fix it but at the same time i love trying new things you guys know that and you guys know i love my biore charcoal mat like uh cleanser it's just amazing i'm almost out of it so I've been trying, I've been dying to try this Open Glories face wash products for a while now because somebody in England told me that they make good face washes, but I didn't want to buy one until, like, I'm really trying consciously not to buy new stuff until something has run out. So because my Biore cleanser is about to run out, um, I thought, okay, I'll pick this up. It's huge. Like, this thing is going to last me forever considering I use two different face washes, one in the morning and one differently at night with my Clarisonic, but it smells really good. It's called the Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. It's smooth, it smooths, cleans, and purifies. So I'm really excited. It smells, it just smells delicious. So it's, yeah, I'm gonna try that. And then I also picked up something that I'm really excited about because I've heard rave reviews about it and my lips have been so dry. So I picked up a YSL Volupte Tint in Oil. It's basically a very fancy, very fancy um, lip tint slash oil. It's like an oil-based lip gloss that's supposed to really moisturize and then leave a nice little fine tint at the end. So look at that packaging. Fancy. It smells really good. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes and I'll let you guys know if I like it. But yeah, oh no, it's got a scratch on it. All right, what do you think? I just put it on. It tastes and smells really good and it's nice. It's supposed to enhance your natural lip color. So it's not supposed to look exactly the same on every person. We're at Target right now because I'm gonna return these sandals that I got for Kaya that are way too big. Again, they're so cute, but they just, it's not sensible to keep them. So do you guys have your usual Target routine? Like when you walk into a Target, you hit all the same spots every single time? That's pretty much us. Although I will say that we haven't been actually coming here a lot lately. You know, because Target's a black hole that sucks you in. You want to get a Barbie set? Oh no. 
Kai has fallen in love with Barbies. Why does Barbie have to look so scandalous? Why can't they have conservative Barbie? Or mar modest Barbie? Or librarian Barbie? Because she's the naughty. Oh, look. Fun. Look. <laughs> Ken's gone geeky. That's a new thing, right? Is nerdy. Nerdy guys are in. Sit down. On your bottom. Nope, nope. I'm not listening to you two. Sit down on your bottom. Okay, what do you want? Or my, my little pony. Oh. I don't know. That one's pretty concerned. Easter Princess Barbie. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. I don't care. Easter Princess Barbie looks okay. She wants a Barbie set. What is a Barbie set? Who is this child? She's two. Something on YouTube. She watched something on YouTube. That's what it is. You know, it's hard to hate YouTube when that's what you do. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it's really annoying though because the kids see stuff and then they want stuff. Look at Style Barbie. I'm kind of dressed similar to her today. I need pink pants. Yeah, I need my pink pants. Where are my pink pants at? Oh, I like this Barbie. She's cute. Look at. See, that's a nice looking Barbie. A cute jacket. I want that jacket. So Daddy found something for Kaya. What did Daddy find you, Kaya? The, 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 the puppy. Show us, Wyatt. You need to be on your bottom. The puppy. Get on your bottom. bottom. Stop. Bottom. Nope, not on your knees. On your bottom. Yes, Good job. Head in there, Wyatt. Kaya, show us what you got. What is that? The, the puppy and the puppy. Oh, okay. That is puppy and this is puppy. Gotcha. John saw it and he's like, "This is what she wants." Sure enough. Did you get this? All right, on your bottom, sir. Da, 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 We're not moving until you get on your bottom. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. You gonna, we're heading there right now. We're heading there right now. Wyatt's treat is with Skylanders trap team. Auntie Sam bought him the DS uh, kit. I don't know where that is, but it like hooks up to my 3DS, so he can play it while we're traveling. So he's gonna get a little figurine. Are you sleepy, Kai Kai? No. no, you look sleepy. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on, guys. A lot of changes happening, and I'm excited to share it with you. I'll probably do an update video next month, but we got a lot of stuff. You're happy? It's like Robo. You're happy, Kaya? Yay. She's like, I'm happy, mommy. You happy, Kaya? Yeah. Guys, okay, so it is Sunday. Happy Daylight Savings Day, if you guys do say like, Daylight Savings. I guess Arizona, Hawaii, and few other places in the country do no, not. That's it. That's it? Just Arizona and Hawaii? Indiana used to not, but they do now. Mm. I remember when that changed. So we are going back to the mall. I know. You guys are like, why are you going to the mall on two, day, two days in a row? It's because the pants that I picked up yesterday, um, even though I have the exact same pants and the exact same size, I can't even get them over my thighs. So I don't know. I don't know if it's just like a manufacturer thing or what, but... I was pretty bummed, so I'm gonna take those back because it's a gorgeous day out and we didn't have anything really else to do. Kai is so big, she can ride on the boogie board now. Whee! Hey! So I had to return a Stila pen that was malfunctioning to Sephora and I got um, a lip gloss instead and then I got some Lush bath bombs for the kitties, the Easter edition, so yes. Downtown to stop by one other place before we go home. Um, like I was saying in the mall, I'm so excited that I returned my Stila pen because what happened was I bought it during the VIB Rouge sale, as you guys know if you watched that video. I bought it because I was like, oh, it's 20% off. I know I'll use it because it's one of my favorite eyeliner pens. You know, I'll just buy it now because I know I'll use it. Well, I didn't take it out of its packaging at all until I ran out of my Kat Von D liner and I pulled it out, took out the bot, like took the um, eyeliner out of the box and tried to use it on my eyelid and it wouldn't show up for some reason. Like the ink wasn't coming out or the eyeliner liquid wasn't coming out of the pen on my eyelid. So I pressed it on my hand and it worked on my hand when I pressed really hard but wouldn't work on my eye. So obviously it hadn't dried out. There was still, you know, plenty of product in there because it had never been opened or out of its box. But for some reason it just wasn't working on my eyelid which is strange because it used to be one of my favorites. So basically I just put it away in my drawer. And so this Stila eyeliner has been sitting there for now two weeks unused, you know. And so I was like debating, I'm like do I just take it back to the store because like I literally didn't know that it wasn't working until recently. 
and so I don't know it's twenty dollars I just I couldn't just let it sit there so I took it back and I exchanged it for a lip gloss instead because I didn't have the receipt because I just John and I are getting our taxes done and our CPA needs all of our receipts so like all my receipts are a mess right now so I couldn't find it but you guys know Sephora's return policy is really nice and I explained the situation to the lady and she was like oh no we totally understand whatever it's a defaulty product blah blah blah, blah. so I'm really happy I did that because I really was on the verge of just being like well I'll just throw it away you know or let it sit there forever and whatever but I mean it's $20 like I said but I'm happy the kids are happy they got their lush bombs and we, I also got them this play-doh it's like this play-doh soap like it's like pliable and it's kind of I don't know how to explain it. it's colored but they really have been enjoying them we usually break our bath bombs in half sometimes because they're kind of expensive for just one bath but since Kai and Y take baths together it's like worth it it's like their treat or like say we're in a like rough situation after gymnastics where they're really cranky because we've been out too long at night and they're tired from like gymnastics like the bath bomb for some reason settles them down like immediately so it's totally worth it to have those in our closet to use when needed. So we are currently at a Walmart that Rebecca on Facebook emailed me about because she said she saw caffeine free Dr. Pepper here and what do you know oh that's taped up let's put that one back let's just get the other one very nice, exciting. So we're those parents that pack a diaper bag but forget to bring it. <laughs> so we picked up some diapers because her diaper was really full and then John just changed her on my lap. I totally like put new diapers in it and like everything. And then we left it at home. And wipes. Yep. The Girl Scout Did ladies. I gave her cuckoo. She's like being grumpy. The Girl Scout girls were just too cute outside of Walmart so Wyatt bought a box of tagalongs. For them, so I thought tag along. I feel like I feel like Girl Scout cookies. You used to get more. I don't know. It just seems mean, a little bit. To. Oh yeah, those look spread out. Yeah, there's like only like huh. 15 Maybe in you're here. Thinking of thin mints. Yeah, thin kind of mints. Tattoo. Yeah. So oh. we got one. I don't know. It goes to a good cause, I guess. Hopefully. Hopefully. It also worked out well because uh, Girl Scouts just came out with their gluten-free cookies. I guess there's like four different types. But uh, Stephanie, uh, one of the girls that I met through YouTube, um, she sent me two boxes of the raisin oatmeal ones that are gluten-free, which were the only ones that she could find. And I couldn't find any gluten-free ones in our area, but of course we're an hour away from home. And these Girl Scout troop had the Toffee-tastic ones. So I'm super excited because now I get to try both gluten-free cookies. Uh, I guess there's another one that's like a butter cookie or something like that. Coffee-tastic cookies taste good. And a little dry. They'd make a really good cookie to have with tea or coffee to like dip in with coffee. Oh, that'd be so good. All right, so we are home and John's feeding the kids dinner. I'm not feeling well. I was on my feet a little bit too much today and I started my cycle and I'm just like frustrated with my body at this point because I don't understand why I started my cycle. Um, so I'm taking it easy because I know that if I don't, things could get bad. So I just know, you know, I know my body and I have to nanny tomorrow for seven hours. So I'm just kind of like taking it easy. I also need to clean up the house still tonight. So yep, it's seven o'clock at night, seven, yeah, it's seven, which is throwing me off because it's still so daylighty out, but I don't know. I'm just taking time to myself to edit some videos because I need to get, um, those up. John's like, you need to put more videos up, Kelly. I'm like, I know, I just haven't, you know, had the time. So I'm taking the time now to edit the question and answers videos. I think there's about three or four of them. I tried doing them in increments so that that way um, they aren't too long and boring because there was like 62 questions from you guys for John and I, or me and John. I never know that like sequence. John and I, me and John. Um, and I didn't want to have them all in one video, especially because John and I both like to talk a lot. Those will be going up. This day in the life will be going up, that kind of thing. Um... But yeah, so I'm just kind of vegging out because, I don't know, I'm kind of an emotional mess right now. With everything going on, like I said in my last video, I'm still trying to, like, work through those feelings and um, just kind of try to figure out where I stand in all this, where, where I basically, what am I, basically, where I stand, kind of how I'm supposed to feel, that kind of thing, and that's all whirling around in my head. Um, day in and day out so I'm trying to work on that and then also we have a lot of stuff going on right now that's just so stressful and it's just gonna be stressful for the next two months so I'm just trying to like wrap my brain around everything happening <laughs> at once so I will share that stuff with you guys when we have things a little bit more situated but 
yeah so if you like day in the lives and you enjoy coming around with us make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you'd like if not that's all right and leave a comment if you want i'm gonna try to respond back to comments right now because i've been lacking on that too just because i've been so busy and tired um and yeah i will talk to you guys all later bye